power. Miracles will begin to take place. I want you to know, Mark Shelley. Miracles gonna be wrought. Everything's gonna Let us bring out our Bible. You will walk in great success. I prophesy harvest in hundredfold will be your portion. With your amen, you will break forth to the east. You will break forth to the west. In the name of Jesus, the door opportunity that has been set before you as you open wide your mouth to say amen, that's how wide the door will open. As you stretch out your hand to reach it, your hand will reach it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every near success syndrome, they are smashed. They will not follow you. In the name of Jesus. In this month of February, the setbacks in your life, you will double overtake. In the name of Jesus. Where you have been dishonored, you will have double honor. Where you have been shamed, you will have double honor. In the name of Jesus, there will be restoration. In your business, restoration. In your finances, restoration. In your family, in the name of Jesus. You can begin to thank the Lord because God is faithful. The Bible says, Abraham gave, he gave glory to God before he saw the promises of God fulfilled. So wherever you are seated, I want you to begin to give thanks to the Almighty God that what he will do this month for you, no devil can change it. In the name of Jesus, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The spirit of harvest will follow you. The spirit of harvest will follow your family. Harvest of blessing. Harvest of breakthrough. Harvest of favor. The first thing, if you are expecting a supernatural harvest, is to learn to give thanks. Thanks makes God to fulfill his word. In the book of Romans, thanks is an expression of faith. Romans chapter 4 in verse 17 as it is written I have made thee a father of many nations before him whom he believed. Even God who quickeneth the dead and calleth those things which be not as though they were who against who believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations, according to that which was spoken. So shall thy seed be. In verse 19, and being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead, when he was about an hundred years old. When he was about what? Hundred years old. He considered not his own body now dead. Amen. Amen. The body of Abraham when he was 100 years old was already dead. This body was already dead. And not that he had what we call a weak erection. He does not have erection at all. His body was already dead. It's no more capable of being a father. It's no more capable of being a man. 
he did not consider his own body now dead. When he was about an hundred years old, neither the deadness of Sarah's womb, neither the deadness of Sarah's womb, he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. He, when you give glory to God, it makes you to be strong in faith. You begin to thank the Lord because God is good. You thank him because he is faithful. In verse 20, it says, He staggered not at the promises of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God, being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able also to perform. I want to speak about doctrine of tithe. Can we say it with our mouth loud and clear? Louder. In the book of Genesis chapter 4. In verse 3. And in process of time it came to pass. That came brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And in verse 4, Genesis 4:4, 4, 4, and Abel he also brought of the firstlings. That's why we have what you call the first fruit, firstlings of his flock, and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. Amen. This is actually where the word tithe begins to have its root. The firstling or the first fruit. The first income, the first fruit. Maybe your first day income, maybe your first week income. Maybe your first month income. It may depend on how big your faith is. What you say, come to your hand for the first time in the year is your first fruit. When you bring your first fruit unto the Lord, he brings you into a covenant relationship with him. Miracles will begin to take place. 